Hey there music friends and welcome back for another reaction and analysis video. Today you and I are going to be listening to the awesome Marcine and he's going to be playing the song Carmen Habanera. I love this song. It's such a cool song. I can't wait to see what he does with it. He's amazing on the guitar. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I'll have a link down there where you can go and click on it and buy his music. There will also be links down there where you can watch more of his videos. And I also have my affiliate links so that you can help support the channel. There's things like channel membership and uh, my merch store along with just a donation. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts on this music today down in the comments section. Okay, that is a really neat effect that he's doing there. He's taking the, the um, strings that are coming off of the nut. The nut is the little white piece that's going across the top right here. And he's up on the strings way up top. And he's just kind of, you know, flicking those with his fingernails. And it gives such a weird kind of sound. You know, you can open a piano and do the same thing on the strings there. Um, because, you know, that nut is holding them really, really tight there and you get this creepy kind of vibey kind of sound off of it. It's not a string that's going to ring. Um, but I'm going to back up a little bit here because I really think when he's doing those rhythmic elements on his guitar and he's just going all over making those really rhythmic elements, I think I heard that he's mimicking the melodic parts that he's doing too. So I think both rhythms are the same. Man, that's some great finger work. I like when he does that tuning down effect when he takes that peg and he and he tunes down and comes back you know you you can achieve a bend on your strings just by pushing and pulling on those strings but you can't bend as far as he's doing when he takes that peg and he turns that so he gets to come down and back up even more which is super cool the the stuff that he just puts in his music is just so awesome he's such a great arranger and, you know, I'm just always blown away that he gets that melody in there, but he's also doing all the harmonies around it and then all the rhythmic elements. And he just, he can get it all in there. And that's just crazy that he could do that. His hands are so fast. <laughs> That's the first time I've noticed in his playing that he he's almost playing sometimes like he's playing a bass guitar where, you know, the bass guitar has a slap technique with her thumb. I actually think I saw him doing that technique as he's playing. So, you know, he's hitting that string and he's getting that string to to ring, but he's not plucking and he's not pulling and he's not strumming it. He's actually slapping it. And, and I'm guessing he's doing just like on a bass guitar where he's mainly up on the thicker strings, you know, the E and the A. That 
That was a sick run. Let's go back and see that again. That was so fast. You know, it's just scale work. It's, you know, stepwise motion. So one note right after the other. But still, that was incredibly fast. <laughs> So we just went to a different section. You know, we had this big opening, this bold, quick, just right in your face melodies and sounds and rhythms. And that was our A section. And now it sounds like we're just going to do a chill section. Totally different. That would be our B section. And eventually we're going to come back to that A. So this is A, B, A form. <laughs> That's, that's awesome. Those fingers. Those fingers are so accurate. You know, to get achieve the sound that he's getting, he has to be precise with every finger stroke that he makes on those strings. Not one can be different than the other to get that effect that he has there. And it's so smooth and so fluid. He's just practiced so much that he can just do it. All right, a guitar switch. Just when you think you've seen it all with Marcin, he comes up with something brand new. So not only is he, you know, playing some wicked, cool sounding riffs and, and melodic lines here, which I think, you know, it has a little vibe with like Tim Henson from Polyphia. It has that little vibe. But then Marcin comes off the fretboard and just makes his way back to the bridge, which is the back of the guitar way down the other end of the strings. So if you didn't notice, we came back to that beginning section again, that A section, like I said. We had the opening A. We had that middle, just very chill section, B. B has to be totally different than A. And we came back to the A section again. Fantastic arranging of this song. And I heard something else that, well, I didn't hear something that's new. It's something that I've heard, but I saw something that, okay, now I get it. I know he has long fingernails, and I know that's to, you know, strum on the strings and do different things, but I, I didn't realize that he was actually using those as his percussion elements on his guitar to get the stronger sound. I thought it was just fingertips, but it was his, his nail that was actually making that. And Marcin just comes up with some really cool, awesome things. This song was from the opera Carmen, and this is uh, the aria from that. Such a cool song. I love that song. It's got that Spanish flavor to it, and that really plays to some of the strengths here uh, for Marcin. You know, Marcin has all these different styles that he's just kind of meshed into one, including flamenco. 
and it just goes so well with this carbon with this Carmen Habanera song. You know, it's 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 incredible. I'll have a link down below where you can go and click on it and buy Marcin's music, help support him. He's such an amazing artist. I love listening to his guitar work. He is just incredible and there's not too many people like him. He's so unique. There's also gonna be links down below with ways that you can support the channel. There's gonna be a link for my merch store. There's a link for channel membership. If you do choose to become a member of this channel, you get to watch videos like this before everybody else. So there's early access along with some other pretty cool perks. There's some other ways to support the channel down there too, including just donations. So go and check those out. If you don't have the money to do something like that, that's okay. Something you can do for the channel, it's totally free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Click on that subscribe button or hit the like button or make a comment. All of those things help to support the channel and help the channel to grow. And if you do that, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoyed this video today, all you have to do to keep watching more Marcin is just click on another video you see on your screen. I can't thank you enough for spending this time with me. I appreciate it so much, and I'll see you next time.